the zen stories of the 10 bulls today the sixth series i know you will all join me once you have that one how you can make people join you because the majority of the people are living in an unconscious state materialistic world have made them a nobody and now you know your strength now you are telling everything what i do is powerful i am a magnet and the magnet should attract so the simple thing is you keep polishing your every part of your body and your talent and you know people will join you don't have to even advertise your way of talking and the way of look and your smile they call it infectious smile <laughs> kamla aunty and other people in ranagar mr rakum the only problem with us is you have an infectious smile it's in dr dikost i don't know but i was just enjoying when i see a person i see them as god goddess and if i cannot smile with my totality they find it as infectious smile infection means the smile is attracting at the same time there's a double meaning in infectious smile you are trying to force another person to get it like you know i am not forcing it is myself yes you can do that it's so powerful when you do any exercise and it's supposed to give you a hundred percent of your cowl wow boom and you give the wow boom it blast like a nuclear bomb the whole world hears you this is the sixth series riding the bull mounting the bull slowly i return homeward the voice of my flute intones through the evening measuring with ha hand beats the pulsating harmony i direct the endless rhythm whoever hears this melody will join me mounting the bull now we have caught the bull because you have trained once you have trained you know you have tamed the eyes the nose now you can smell you can hear the voice of the nightingale now you know the hands have been trained because you don't keep quiet you have worked hard to make the hands so powerful and only a most powerful hand can become so soft yes only a powerful man can love his wife like a pancake yes my onochem was like that and she does the aikido she's a aikido black i could she just very powerful kendo i think twice <laughs> and on the extremes she's like a pancake so soft so when on onochem fights with me i know i cannot fight with her so what i do is i lift a skirt and run <laughs> the power on the extremes and the soft only a powerful man you started realizing your heart oh you have a big heart big hearted man yes when i was in japan to extend my visa i sometimes go to my guarantor and talk to him mr okabe san said how to approach the master and he always tells me that master is such a big hearted man and basically japanese must be big hearted before they could say no you must taka 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 talk and tell i this is what i wanted you must talk with full call i wanted please extend my visa please sign this contract and i went pum 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 i talked and they signed yes big hearted your heart becomes so big your legs become so powerful because there is a lot of pain when you work non stop to the extremes to remove the last drop of the talent from your leg and every one pain you can see the tears falling out from the eyes and you are just enjoy <coughs> enjoy yes we the whole team of indranagar went in a holiday to um ah uh, collar uh, there is a mentally retarded school 
Can you tell me the name? Huh? Andhra Gange. Andhra Gange mentally drawed school. So we all went in the holiday and we were, our school, Rakum school was uh, helping Andhra Gange uh, mentally drawed school with the whole month provisions, medical, furniture, so many things. I don't know. So many. <laughs> and then we climbed the Andhra Gange. When we went there, uh, that the boss, the, the the head of that school, we climbed the Antara Gange on the top. It was around thousand and odd steps. I forgot. We climbed, and we came down. And then this man said, "Oh, we'll go to um, see the Rama Sita's children, Laukush Mountains." Oh. Lau Kush? Uh, Lau, Lau and Kush was born here. I couldn't believe it. Near Kolar? Oh, near Antara Gange. We, we went driving. And from the foot of the mountains, we climbed. Zini Makla couldn't climb. She halfway, she stopped. This man couldn't climb. He also stopped. And it was just immediately after my heart attack. <laughs> and doctor said, don't walk. I forgot. If I die, let me die in the mountains. I went and we climbed to the top. We saw where Sita was taking bath and washing clothes. We saw the small, uh, what you call, Guhe, uh, what do you call, the tunnel, uh, where she gave cave where Sita gave birth to Laukush. <laughs> it was fantastic. We're going on the top, we came down. And then Renuka's mother was waiting for the holiday to take her. We were driving very fast. We didn't get proper food and no proper uh, hotels also. We were driving very fast down to reach Bangalore city and everybody was dead. Nobody could even open the uh, eyes. And I was thinking, finish. Maybe today night I will have heart attack and die second heart attack. One. Two is, I decided another one month, I am not. Go I won't be able to get up. I will have to go, uh, be hospitalized. Can you believe? Next day morning, everybody got up. I got up. Zero pain, no massage, no hot water. When you go to the extremes, above the extremes, when you remove your, all your talent, there is only power, no pain. And they say, no pain, no gain. People, what happens is, they reach a stage, they pull back. Like Nali Kelly sir, only one story. The next story, Nali Kelly sir is waiting for somebody else to write. If I write the script, what will people? No, no, no. Your script is the most. Because I myself enjoyed the best song melody. I, I thought my blind students' uh, songs were the best, which killed me with the love and affection and made me very healthy. I always go, and please sing, please sing, because hearing this song, organic, beautiful, act, just live across. The mouth, and when it came to Devanakali, I said, Nali Kali's uh, song was breaking my heart. You have a talent, <laughs> go ahead. Believe me, that extreme is powerful. Now, uh, many heart specialists are telling um, that, um, that, uh, that boy who died, uh, Shivraj Kumar's brother, uh, Puneet Rajkumar. Puneet Rajkumar, he shouldn't have done so much exercise. Nothing, no, no, no. Please don't do more exercises. You'll have water. All this uh, bullshit because these doctors have not trained hard. In the whole of India, they kept on teaching them soft techniques. No, no, no. Puneet Rajkumar's death and the same Devi Shetty's brother, Bujuk Shetty's death. Devi Shetty was running the, uh, 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 what do you call, Narayan Hrudelia and his own brother Bujaga Shetty also died of heart disease. All these problems is not because Bujaga Shetty was doing a treadmill and no, 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 no. Everybody must understand, you must do warming up and you're stretching. There is where the love relationship is. You must talk to your mother and father, you must hug your father, and you must do your shashtag and all these are warming up exercises. You have to do one hour warning, warming. If you don't have the time, then don't, don't, go, don't go. Just lie down on your bed. Bhujang Shetty and uh, Punita, they did not do warming up excess stretching. Nobody taught them. They had the power, but that even after your gymnasium, after your heavy work, 
like uh, our women in the house, they don't do warming up and stretching. They must do warming up and stretching exercises. Warming up and stretching are the greatest medicine. Then you can go to any extremes, any extremes possible. <laughs> yes. Mounting the bull. Now you have mounted the bull slowly. I written homeward. You have caught your mind. You have caught your family. Now you can feel the family. You can feel your teacher, your guru. You can feel your culture. Now you can sit on top of the culture, on top of your mom, on family, joint family, family trees behind you. Three army, army, navy and air force. Family, joint family, family tree. Kudumba, abhyukta, kudumba, vamsha, vrsha. Now, what is your fear? I mount, I come homeward means I take my samskriti forward and I sing like the black girl was taught. Please go to the stage and sing. She said, oh, look at me, look so big, thick, ugly looking, black, who will accept? So this man was forcing, please you go to the stage. You sing and the world will like, and they're singing, they open the mouth, wow, beautifully. So loudly, the big mouth, big clips. They thought, you know, the first girl went to the stage, she did it. And whole Western countries were shocked. They ran up to the black. Yes, it is not the color. The voice was so beautiful. That's why they climbed the ladder. The voice of my flute intones through the evening. Then after you climb on the top of your bull, on your mind, on your house, the voice of my flute intones, whatever you sing, it pierces like Nali Kelis and my children. So it pierces my heart, pierces to the village, through everywhere, pierces, measuring with hand beats, the pulsating harmony. I direct endless rhythm. Now you can direct, you are the director, and endless rhythm. Whoever hears this melody will join me. Yes. Now, whatever you talk, people will just follow you. They will join you. Together is strength. A family of six together, eats together, prays together, grows together. Now, what um, you talk with power, you don't have to ask. Nan Chanagida, you don't go ask for a judgment. Whatever you do is people's judgment. Yes. People even cannot even judge. Even if they judge, it has got nothing to do with you. Because your song, the flute, the melody is so beautiful. Yes. Whoever hears the melody will join me. Yes. The world will join you. Now, why are you frightened? Your family is the best family. Your voice is the best. Your talk is the best. Your look is the best. Your dress code is the best. Because the culture is so beautifully like the wine. The older the wine, the most beautiful is the value of that wine. You are a diamond. You start polishing and which world can stop looking at you? The world joins us.